KFNN. Headline News Update. Welcome, folks. We had the Dow Industrials finish down 120. NASDAQ off two points. S&P's down seven and a half. NDX 100 was the juice inside the marketplace out here today, folks. If we take a look at the NDX uh, chip stocks, they were on a tear. You had Micron Tech up 8.7%. Western Digital was up 6.6%. Microchip Technology was up 67 And you had Trip.com up 46 So big numbers out there. If we go take a look at the NDX 100, the three Qs, you're going to see that they missed its high by two pennies. Bottom line, I expect that high is going to be tested. 216.16. We hit 216.14 today. S&P, different ballgame. Uh, bottom line is that if we take a look at this S&P, what you're going to see inside the SPY is that uh, we go back to Friday. Uh, bottom line is that the SPY didn't have the type of juice, the type of volume that the S&P uh, did. Uh, what we did with the SPY today, uh, with the S&P futures rather, is that you got over the highs of yesterday. You got into the bars of Thursday and Friday, and he gave it all up. And in fact, you know, if we take a look at the SPY, the SPY is saying that we're going to try to go back down and test the lows that were generated out here on Friday, which is uh, 3206. So that'd be quite a move because we're at 3235 right now. So it, that no doubt is a large number. Notes and bonds continue to want higher price. The bottom line, you had the note as well as the bond market pull back slightly out here today. Huge contraction in volume. What we had out here with volume out here today in the 10 years at 1.2 million contracts. That's light volume. You're going into 1.8 million contracts. That's where the strength came in on Friday. We went from 128.20 to 129.14. Your 10 year out here is trading, I believe it's 1. Yeah, 1.825. Bottom line, this continues to want higher price, lower yield. King dollar. King dollar caught a bit out here today. King dollar is up 347 ticks. And uh, that's saying the King dollar is going to, you know, we're at the 97.018. That's saying the good old King dollar is going to try to get back inside its higher range once again. And right next to it right now, you only need approximately, we need about uh, 100 and, well, you need 130 ticks. Did 97.141 will be the number. And I do expect it's going to try to get inside there. It's failed the last two times to try to get inside there. Have a great night, folks. Have a safe night. Come visit us again tomorrow morning, 9 o'clock. Larry Pesavento kicks us off. Great program. Have a great one.